uh, hi everyone and welcome back uh, welcome to another video so in the last video we have done the v6 setup of aws account now in this video i did login with the root account and how you can see this is a root account if you see on the top uh, this is pointing to the global because the root account does not require region selection this is a root user and here we can see overall we have one user and two groups created and these are just a few things which you should always remember that you should not share uh, your secret key you should not expose it to you should not push it to github somehow because people do mistakes and uh, if anybody get your access key and secret key they can do a lot of things using programmatic access to your aws console okay always provide a list privilege to any other user which you are creating like give them read only access or read only access or access to a particular service don't create them as a aws administrator okay uh, enable mfa that is a must for your your root account or or any other privileged user okay now what we are going to do here is so we logged in with the root and next thing which you can do is create a budget so sometimes what happens is we do a lot of aws things and we forget to delete or release the resources and we get charged right so to avoid all those things you can create a monthly budget set a forecast of okay, set a target of ten dollar so if your monthly budget is exceeding like seven or eight dollar then you will get an email notification okay that you are being charged for this or this service are you currently using it or what so you can actually look into this and you can take appropriate action instead of you are getting uh, a monthly bill of 500 dollar and you are getting sub, sub you are getting you are getting surprised in that case okay how did i get that much bill i'm not using anything but you might have started some service and you you forgot to turn it off or release the resources okay so these few things which you should do before getting started with the serverless because we are going to write lambdas and all lambda is event driven right it will consume the resources when you are triggering the request from the from your front end through the api gateway right so we have a server based technology and serverless technology we will go into the difference what is the basic aspect and why there is a need of serverless architecture when we already have the server based architecture right the only difference is when you spin up a ec2 instance you are going to be charged for the uptime of that instance if that instance is uptime for n number of hours you will be charged for it but when you are writing lambda and you are executing in that environment you will be charged only for the execution time of that lambda if you are not writing any application which is 24 7 up and running and getting customer every day right in that case you should go with the server based technology but you are writing some application which is going to get uh, traffic uh, once in a while in a day like some kind of asynchronous files are coming so you want to execute asynchronous jobs in that case you can go with the uh, with the lambda approach okay so thanks everyone so we are done with the basic setup now we have created a user with administrator access we have enabled mfa on all the privileged users now we can start with the serverless uh, components 